Every few years, a new dangerous and damaged rapper appears on the scene and captivates the culture. It started in the Bronx in the early 80s with groups like Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. They might look funny today with their skin-tight jeans, knee-high leather boots, and studded bracelets, but when they broke on the scene, they were dangerous. America hadn't seen anything like them before, and most important, they were damaged. They set the tone for what the culture wanted from its heroes. By the late 80s, acts like the Furious Five had been phased out by newcomers like N.W.A. No one had seen a group that damaged and dangerous before. For several years, N.W.A. was the illest thing in sight, and two Wu-Tang stormed onto the scene and grabbed that mantle. They were young, wild, and out of control. The culture couldn't get enough. Then Pac brought the West Coast back. No one was more thrillingly damaged than Pac after he signed with Death Row. He was taking shots at undercover cops, threatening in courtrooms, and surviving assassination attempts. There's no telling how long his reign could have lasted if he hadn't been killed. After Pac, it was my turn. Yeah, that's right.